Hi, I'm Cameron Atkinson, Director of Women in Banking and Finance Jobs, the job board that seeks to connect top female talent with leading employers in the banking and finance sector and has a particular focus on returnships, flexible working opportunities, as, as well as part time. Um, in this short tutorial, I hope to show you how to use some of the functionality of WIBIF Jobs, uh, particularly around um, creating search alerts and filters. Um, using the filters to then create search alerts. So um, just to very briefly take you through uh, some notes and then I'll demonstrate. Um, so there are several different types of filter that you can apply to narrow down your search, including what sector within banking and finance, which particular uh, area you want to work within, uh, the type of job, whether it's flexible working or full-time, for instance, um, the location, London, outside of London, Manchester, etc. Um, the workplace, whether remote working or office based, and the type of company, etc. Multiple filters that you can apply um, without necessarily having to be so specific as to search on particular keywords or job titles uh, so that you get more results in your searches and have more to choose from uh, when you come to apply. Um, I would recommend deciding which is most important to you uh, before putting your search filters in. Uh, say for instance, if the role must be in London, or if uh, you're quite flexible on where you work as long as it is a fixed term contract, uh, you'd be willing to travel for instance. So uh, identify your priorities and perhaps uh, layer your filters on top of one another, starting with the most important. Uh, once we've demonstrated how to apply some uh, of the filters, um, I'll then uh, walk you through how to set up a search alert according to those filters. So that rather than you having to come in and reactively do the search over and over again, uh, instead you can set up your search once according to the parameters and the filters that you've applied and then request an alert to come through to your inbox whenever a new job is posted that meets your search filters and, and your criteria. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll show you how to set those up to go to your inbox. So um, to practically demonstrate that, uh, take you to the WIBIF jobs site. Um, you can just Google WIBF jobs to get through to that, or the, the web address is jobs.wibif.org.uk. And this is the landing page, the home page. A um, couple of things to point out. It's quite a useful landing page in terms of um, being able to create a job seeker profile. Um, I'd recommend doing this if you're an active job seeker. Uh, it allows you to put information in about your skills and experience um, and then essentially add you to the WIBF jobs database. So rather than you reactively searching for employers vacancies, employers can then search our database of profiles and could proactively find you and, and approach you. Um, could save you time when uh, applying for roles in future as well because you, some of your details will already be in there. Um, back to the home page. Those are the useful resources um, down the right hand side, career resources around what some of our employers are doing, their programs that they're running at work, um, market intelligence around returning to work, uh, career opportunities within banking and finance, for instance. Uh, so various resources for you to use there. Now, if you are a WIBIF member or you've previously created an account uh, in the job seeker section up at the top, you can log in. As you would expect, it takes you to a login screen, um, but there's no uh, prerequisite for doing that. You can just uh, uh, approach as, as anybody, a, a non-member, and search WIBF jobs for uh, career opportunities. Um, if you have absolutely no parameters, which I understand is probably unlikely, uh, you can just scroll down the, the front page and see the most recent jobs to have been advertised on WIBF jobs. But the chances are you're probably going to want to narrow that down to meet your own criteria. So if we just start by clicking on the search button to the right hand side, 
This then takes you through to a slightly more detailed search page. Um, in a separate tutorial, I'll talk about Boolean searching and keyword searching, uh, ways that you can very specifically format the keywords and phrases that you're wanting to search on. Uh, so do look out for that within member resources. And if that's something that you might like to do to really narrow down your search, then watch that tutorial. For now, we'll just ignore the keywords and concentrate on the more simple filters. Um, I'd recommend, as I mentioned, uh, starting with what is most important to you. And so for instance, uh, I think I said, if you must continue to work in London, if that's where you're based, then apply that filter first. Um, you can see we have 32 results uh, at the moment. Please bear in mind that uh, during these COVID times, our, uh, our corporate partners and employers are recruiting less, unfortunately. I'm sure we'll see an uptick in that very soon. Uh, but 32 opportunities in London um, and then perhaps uh, maybe you your skill set is within business operations so you can then apply that filter and um, so you'll see opportunities here from Morgan Stanley Bank of England um, alternatively if you decide that actually um, that's narrowed it down a little too much you can remove any of these filters just by hitting the, the X next to it on the left hand side um, alternatively if we go back in and, and reapply business operations, uh, you can be, then become even more specific and say that it must be a part-time opportunity. At the moment, we just have one of those advertised, um, but that really doesn't matter when it comes to creating a search alert. Even if there's only one result now, the point of setting, a, uh, setting up a search alert is that whenever any new vacancies are posted that meet the filters that you've applied, so in this instance, a London-based job within business operations that is part-time, you'll receive a, an email. So although there's only one opportunity now, when hopefully recruitment starts up again and the COVID restrictions ease even further and people get getting back to work. I'm sure we'll see more opportunities uh, being posted on Webif Jobs. Your inbox will start to receive those proactively directed uh, from the WIBF Jobs search alert that you've set up. Um, so the way to do that is to put in your email address Uh, acknowledge that you've uh, read the and understood the privacy policy after you have, of course, uh, and then click create search alert. Um, okay, so uh, just to demonstrate that one more time. Um, so if we clear all those filters that we've applied, let's just start with something different. Um, perhaps you're flexible on location and willing to travel to work anywhere as long as um, the opportunity is um, within IT um, and is full-time. So again, just three, Morgan Stanley um, leading the charge on and recruiting there at the moment. Um, come in here, create your uh, search alert. Tick that box again and create a search alert. And you could have done that within one session on the job board. So you can have multiple alerts set up uh, for, for, for different purposes. Um, you can see now that I've clicked that, um, the uh, search alert has been successfully assigned and will then proactively send any opportunities to me. Hopefully that's been useful. And if you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to, to contact WIBF, myself, Cameron Atkinson, and we'll be sure to uh, give you some pointers around how to set up your job search as best as possible.